name is Rahima Njaidi and I'm the director uh, from UMITA. Uh, UMITA is a network of community living adjacent to natural resources, uh, the natural forest, and they're based uh, in, across the country. So these communities, uh, they're, they're formed into groups, uh, uh, and the groups are involved a uh, various range of forest users. Uh, we, have the, we have the beekeepers, we have uh, charcoal producers, we have farmers, so it's a, it's a wide range of forest users. And then these groups come together uh, to, to manage a certain forest around their vicinity. Uh, the vision is to see these communities, these farmers, these forest producer groups benefiting uh, from natural resources, managing those resources sustainably. So for the communities we're working with on the project, we're supporting them uh, to produce charcoal but in a sustainable way which does not destroy the forest, does not destroy the, the environment. They had a training that enabled them to identify market, uh, also got skills on business management, and also on finance management. So that was an eye-opening for them because it was never, they had never received any kind of capacity building intervention. pande mkubwa kabisa kwa sababu tulikuwa mwanzoni tunatengeneza mkaa kweli faida tulikuwa tunaipata lakini ilikuwa ni kidogo sababu bei tu ilikuwa ni ya kawaida mteja anakuja mwenyewe anazungumza lakini bei ila nayo itaji baada ya mjumita kuja kushauli kutoa mafunzo pale tukawa tumefundishwa masoko na mtaji baada ya pale ikabidi tujichangishe wenyewe kidogo na ofisi yetu pale ikawa imetusaidia kijiji kwa ajili ya kutukopesha mtaji kwa hiyo mpaka sasa hivi kwa awamu ya kwanza tu tumeweza kufanikisha kupata gunia 120 na zimefika sokoni kwa mwaka uliopita nimevuna gunia sabini za mkaa na niliuzia hapa kwa bei ya shilingi 5500 kila gunia baada ya hapo hela nilioipata nikawa nimefanikiwa kununua uwanja nikawa nimefanikiwa kujenga kijumba changu cha makuti na faida hela nyingine iliyokuwa imebaki i mean mwanamke tuna vikundi vyetu vya vikoba vya kujiwekeza nikawa natumia kwa njia hiyo ya kujiwekeza na mwaka huu ndo tumeanza sasa kuvuna ili tufikishe sokoni nadhani kwa mwaka huu unaona nitapata za, faida zaidi kuliko nilioipata mwaka jana. Na sisi wanawake mwanzoni tulikuwa tunajiona kama ni wadhaifu lakini baada ya kuenda na sisi kukamata shoka tukajipima nguvu zetu kwa mwaka wa kwanza tumeona tumeweza na mpaka mwaka huu tumeongeza kuhamasisha wanawake wengine ili nao wajiunge kwa kutokana na wao wameona jinsi gani tunavyofanikiwa jinsi gani kwetu tunapabadilisha nao wamehamasika kuna wanawake kama watatu hivi ndio wameingia sasa hivi na tunaendelea kuhamasisha wanawake wengine usijione kwamba sisi wanawake ni wanyonge sana tunaweza kwa hiyo tunaweza kukata miti na tunaweza kupata, kupata mkaa na kupeleka sokoni na kubadilisha familia zetu na watoto wetu wakawa wanakula vizuri na kusoma wakasoma vizuri manufaa ya mkaa endelevu tunayopata kwanza tunaitunza miti yetu atukati miti ovyo kwenye vyanzo vya maji huwa atukati miti kwenye miporomoko kwenye milima mikali huwa atukati miti na kuna miti mingine unakuta ina wadudu hata kama mti ule una sifa za kuvunwa labda ni mti ule una vioto vya, vya ndege ndio ndege wanakolala pale miti ile huwa tunaheshimu kwa hiyo tunakata miti faida tunaiacha hiyo miti na pale tunapokata ile miti kuna vile visiki vinaendelea kuvunwa na hatukati mti hadi mti kuna tunavopima pimiwa vile vitalu kuna, tuna, kuna vitalu vingine tunakuwa tunaviruka kwa hiyo kuna vingine unakuta bado vina miti midogo ile miti midogo huwa tunaiacha tegemea kwa baadaye baada ya miaka kadhaa inakuwa nayo imefikia kiwango cha kufunisha kuna nicha kuvunwa ndio hiyo tutavuna sababu na watoto bado nao hapo nyuma sisi nguvu zetu zitaisha nao wataendelea na kazi ya mkaendelevu in terms of sustainability uh, we are hopeful because our our, our mode of working is to make sure that communities go on with their progress even in the absence of Mujimita, in the absence of uh, uh, FFF. So the trainings that we provide to the communities, they te it tends to make them uh, build the capacity and skills, introducing them to market, 
so that they can be able to even go there in the mark even in the absence of you made anything. So when we are out of the picture, they still have the skills, the capacity, and the knowledge in the network so they can go on into implementing their interventions without the need of us. So we are very positive about that, they can manage because once money flows in, you won't cut that flow, so you'll be able to go ahead. Heart, generally, uh, this program has really came at the right time. Uh, we, we have a lot of communities out there who are engaging in businesses but in the traditional way. So this project or this program will help them uh, um, improve their business uh, skills, uh, make the business more profitable, but at the same time protect their resources because that is where they get revenue from. So it will give them a sense of ownership and a sense of responsibility. See a very good potential uh, to scaling up uh, these interventions in other, on other sites. Because Tanzania is blessed with a vast amount of natural forest, and uh, we have potentials uh, on funding opportunities from different uh, different organizations and institutions, and also it's going to uh, help society, the decision makers, the policy makers, to really understand that uh, producing charcoal is not a crime. Charcoal can be produced sustainably. Mm -hmm.